Hi traders, it's Roberto. It's May 23rd, Thursday, and in this analysis, we're going to go over a few pairs prior to the New York session today. Trade room is going to be open at 8 a.m., but I just wanted to uh, give a heads up on anything that is may come up during the uh, New York session. We have um, news announcement at 8 a.m., and we'll trade that. We also have um, Ashish Devi sent us some fundamental analysis, and we're going to uh, dissect each and every one uh, today in, in the trade room. Um, first off, uh, yesterday we talked about the possibility of the age of the yen pairs selling off, and they did. Uh, we talked about um, having this trend line broken below the main pivot point, 21 moving average line, and it sold off. Euro yen, also pound yen, did the same thing. Didn't expect to go down that far, but what I managed to do is just put a break even stop loss when I saw this take off prior to the London session. Now, the other trades that we took, I exited before the um, the London session because of so much news coming out that it was not, you know, wasn't really wise to stay in those trades. We uh, remember we took just a few trades and exited early, and I hope everyone did that. And I actually took a couple more trades, but was you know. Made I made sure that I exited those trades before the London Open because it was just a slew of economic data and I didn't want to get caught up on that. Okay, so we have several pairs, Aussie dollar. Um, this is a deep correction and we're going to be looking for resistance levels to sell Aussie dollar, uh, USD Canadian dollar. Um, it hit our target. Well, not our target. I mean, Ashish uh, Davy had told us that 103.60 would be the target of this pair based on um, his analysis. But we're looking for support levels to be buying this pair. Uh, the other pairs were New Zealand dollar that also shot down or, or shot shot up. It was in the beginning of the London session. The market continued to go down during the Asian session. And I was able to capture a small amount of pips. Now we're looking for, this is a deep correction, but we're still looking for areas of resistance so we can sell. So if we draw a trend line from the swing high to the swing low, and we still have 61 to 50% retracement levels. So we're gonna be looking for these areas up here as possible resistance levels and possibly a short um, coming in possibly maybe in the New York session <clears throat> and the other pair was I think Euro New Zealand dollar and that pair continued to go up during the Asian session but of course London session it turned around and there's a deep correction now so we're gonna have to wait till the market finds support stabilizes for our next move to the upside <clears throat> So that's it for the analysis. We're going to go over uh, Ashish Devi's analysis in the trade room today. And um, so I hope everyone have a, has a good trading day. We still have tomorrow. Remember, we're going to be looking for that Sunday to Monday retracement after markets move steadily in one direction. So we're going to pick certain pairs. Definitely the pound yen since it's sold off. It's been selling off for the past few days and also euro yen we're going to be looking for retracements on sunday to monday okay see everyone in the trade room later today